So I hope I've convinced you that it's important for us as terrestrial Osmo regulators to maintain a, have a way to regulate fluid balance and electrolyte balance in our bodies. So it's the urinary system that's gonna be primarily in charge of this. I'm gonna do some anatomy and then we'll go back to those, those functions. Here's our kidneys. They're gonna do the bulk of the work of this, this process. There's two of them. They are retroperitoneal, so behind the peritoneal cavity that encloses most of the digestive system. You've seen them in the rats, how far down they are, right in the back of the, the organism. The other structures of the urinary system are the ureter, which carries urine from the kidney to the bladder, the bladder, which stores urine, and then the urethra, which transports urine out of the body. So these three structures are going to be involved in the transport and storage of urine. We will look at the histology of them a bit in lab, but we're gonna focus a lot more on the kidneys. Here is obviously a kidney as well cut in half and you will see a cow kidney in, in lab. So the kidneys are doing the bulk of the work to do, do what again? Let's remind ourselves. We're gonna um, filter the blood to create urine. and create waste. So that's gonna be a part of urine. Through this creation of urine, we also regulate fluid volume, electrolyte balance, and acid-base balance. You know the importance of maintaining pH as a regulated variable and the respiratory system is a way to quickly regulate that. Exhaling carbon dioxide can increase pH. Um, the kidneys are a way of regulating pH balance in more long-term and we probably won't talk, get to talk about it a whole lot. Let's see. The other thing along with fluid volume is gonna be regulating blood pressure. So by regulating fluid volume, we're regulating blood pressure in long-term, a long-term manner, manner. Along with our electrolyte balance, right? That is osmolarity that we need to maintain. Okay. The rest of these organs here, um, I already said this, but these are basically hollow tubes that are going to carry and store urine. In the kidney, we're gonna have a more complex process as we'll spend most of our time. There's an outer and inner layer. This outside layer is called, what do you think? Cortex. In here, there's the medulla. Um, the nephrons in the kidney are going to do the process of creating urine through first creating a filtrate and then um, creating urine from that. So that will be the focus of um, these next two weeks, really.